If you're an adult interested in getting Invisalign, stick around and I'll tell you what to expect. Hi, I'm JC, and I decided after my kiddo went off to college that it was time to take care of myself, and I decided to get Invisalign. Now, I had braces when I was a kid, but I had not worn my retainers at night like I was supposed to, and so my bite had shifted just slightly. So I decided to get my bite corrected. So I'm gonna go through now how I did that and what you can expect if you are an adult um, and planning to do the same thing. I started by actually just calling the office of the orthodontist that worked on my kids' teeth. And yes, they did take adults. Some orthodontists do and some don't. So you'll just need to find an orthodontist in your area that uses Invisalign aligners and that takes adult patients. That shouldn't be too difficult if you're in a major city. During the first appointment, it's a consultation. So you'll go in and you'll explain to the dentist what you ho are hoping to have done and they will take some photos of your teeth and possibly do a scan in order to really get a good idea of what kind of work that you might need to have done. At the end of the consultation appointment, which will probably take at least an hour, the dentist should be able to tell you what the treatment plan is, whether or not you do actually need your teeth straightened, um, and how they plan to do it. Plan on it being a minimum of a year, then it could take up to two or three years, depending on how much movement uh, there is in your teeth. Your treatment plan is gonna be unique to you, so I can't really tell you exactly how long it's gonna take, but your dentist should be able to give you a very good sense of what kind of results to expect and how long it's going to take. The way it's usually charged is for end-to-end -end service. You don't pay for every visit or for every set of aligners. You pay for the entire process up front, and that will end up costing you probably between you know, upwards of three or four or five thousand dollars. You'll also have to consider whether or not your dentist will take installments, whether or not your dental insurance will cover any of it, and how much you'll have to pay out of pocket up front as a deposit. After you've pulled the trigger and you've decided you're going to do it and you've signed the paperwork and paid whatever fees were due before the process started, you'll then come back again to have a full scan done of your teeth and they stick this machine in your mouth. It's all digital now. Do you remember when we were kids when you had to do the impressions with that goopy plaster stuff? They don't do that anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not, it's not bad. They just have this kind of like this gun thing and you open your mouth and they scan your teeth and that makes a digital rendering. And then all of the Invisalign adjustments are done through this digital interface, which is really pretty cool. So after they've done the scan and they have the plan in place, they send off to have the actual aligners made. That takes a while, around a month or so, to get those done. Apparently there's only like two manufacturing places that really do them. And one's in, I think, Costa Rica and one's in like, anyway, it takes about a month before you're gonna get your first set of aligners back. You're gonna get a box, multiple boxes. They're usually in a stack like this and Inside is where all of your aligners are. They come in a big packet like this, and you just tear off the next one and then zip them open and pop in the new ones. When you go to pick up your aligners, not only will you receive the box with all of your aligners, but that's when they will put the little nubbins, the little brackets on your teeth for the aligners to clip into. Sometimes you'll get little hooks installed, There'll be little, I don't know what to call it, little bracket, little nubbins. They're clear white um, and they don't show, but that's when you pop your Invisalign in, they kind of snap in around those little nubbins. So be prepared that first visit when you get, receive your box of aligners to also have to lay there in the chair and have them put on all of the little, little brackets. Okay, so you've had your consultation, they've made the aligners, you've gone to your first appointment, they've put on the brackets, they've given you your first set of aligners, and your orthodontist will at this point have told you how often to change them out. Now, the orthodontist is gonna to need to know if your teeth have moved enough and if it's okay to go to the next, uh, the next aligner or not. So here's how that happens. With the Invisalign system, there is an app on your phone that you have to download. It's called Dental Monitoring. And what's really cool about it is that you will actually take pictures of your own mouth with your phone 
And those get uploaded to your orthodontist and they can then look and see whether or not everything's moving correctly. And if so, they'll tell you to go ahead and go to the next set of liners. And if they're not quite there, your teeth haven't moved quite enough, then they'll say, hey, you know, hold off, wear them another couple days and then we'll rescan again. So to do the scan, you're actually gonna get a bag <laughs> with a scanning tool. You attach this to your phone and then you attach the mouth piece into it. Once the scan box is attached to your phone, it looks like this. So you'll do use the scan box to do the scan on whatever cadence your orthodontist tells you to do. I started out with once a week, and then my second set after four months, I went in, they looked at everything, they did a new scan, they ordered more aligners, and then that time it was every two weeks. I'm now on my final set. It's going to, in total, take about a year and a half for my teeth, and now I'm on a 10 day. So it really depends on your particular uh, treatment plan. Be prepared for your teeth to ache and be really sore. Um, the other thing you need to be prepared for is when you first start, the brackets and hooks that they put on will wear the inside of your mouth raw. You'll have really hot spot like sores on the inside of your mouth. They will give you some wax that you can put over the top of them to kind of help abate that, but it's just something. You'll eventually build up calluses on the inside of your mouth, but your mouth will be really sore at first from those brackets, and then be prepared to every time you change out to a new set of aligners, be prepared to have your teeth ache for a while. In order for the results to move along at the right pace, you really do need to wear your aligners 23 hours a day. Only take them out when you're eating and then brush your teeth and put them back in. Be prepared to have a toothbrush and floss with you at all times or in your purse because as your teeth shift, they're gonna be opening and moving spaces and you're gonna be shocked at how much you food you get stuck in there. So just be prepared to have to wear them a lot. Especially at first, you might find that you lisp you can tell when I speak whether or not I have my aligners in. I have them in right now. You'll get used to it, they'll get used to it, and you just have to wear them. If you take them out every time you have to speak to somebody, you won't, you won't see the progress. Are they worth it? For me, they're absolutely worth it. The price is going to be the same as it would be for braces. It's great to only have to go to the orthodontist every four months. It's great that they're invisible. I found the discomfort of wearing them to not be any more than braces were. I chose the Invisalign route because for me, all of the benefits were worth it. If you're a grown up and you're considering it, I hope that you know what we talked about today is helpful. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.